Earth, a massive amalgam of billions and billions of mineral grains from the solar dust clouds that coalesced to create the ground on which you are standing at this very moment, 4.5 billion years later. As the swirling clouds condensed, gravity compacted and heated these materials, and over the process of time, granite emerged as an igneous rock that comprises about 75% of Earth's crust. The violent collisions of sections of Earth called tectonic plates created enormous pressures, generating magmas from the intense heat as edges of the plates were driven downward to hotter areas in the lower crust. These buoyant magmas then pushed their way upward into cracks and fissures in the overlying stone, separating themselves from their heat source, slowly cooling under pressure with the upper crust of the Earth. Granite mainly consists of feldspars, mica, amphibole minerals, and quartz. This mixture gives granite its incredible durability, as well as its speckled appearance, and explains the origin of the name granite coming from the Latin word granum, meaning seed-like or spotted. Berry granite is comprised of about 28% quartz, which is harder than steel and provides its remarkable strength. This strength and consistency of texture make berry granite one of the finest gray granites in the world, allowing it to be carved in intricate detail garnering it a worldwide reputation as one of the finest statuary and memorial granites on Earth. In the late 1800s, with the advent of better cutting tools and railroads for transportation, the granite industry thrived, and Barry became known as the granite center of the world. Among the many granite pioneers were three visionaries, who merged their individual holdings to form Rock of Ages Corporation, a company now known as a leader in the granite industry, unsurpassed for its quality and craftsmanship. Now, let's see how we extract the granite from the ground. We start by drilling what we call pilot holes. These pilot holes will become the edges of our block and determine its length, width, and depth. Then, we use diamond wire saws, which are extremely long, plasticized wires with metal junctions called annuli, fitted with crushed diamonds. If you're wondering why we're using diamonds, it's because diamond is the hardest naturally occurring substance on Earth, allowing it with sufficient friction to cut through granite. To obtain the necessary friction, the wire is wrapped around a series of idler wheels powered by a motor, making the wire travel at around 3,937 feet per minute. The engine then slowly moves back along a track, pulling the wire deeper in the stone block until the desired depth, length, or height is achieved. Then, we use the same method of wire sawing to cut the bottom of the block as well. Once the bottom cut has been made, one of two techniques is used to tip the blocks down so that the loader can carry them away. One is by attaching a long steel arm to a wheel loader that pushes the block until it tips forward. But to eliminate the chances of these gigantic blocks breaking when they strike the granite beneath, we pile up dust and dirt under the falling stone to absorb the impact. The other clever option utilizes a simple bag, similar to an ordinary Ziploc bag, but much larger, and made from metal. This bag is inserted in the cut created by the wire saw and then filled with water or air. The expanding bag then generates enough pressure on the walls to tip the block. We then have a large block free from the larger block around which we sawed. We continue cutting the big block into these smaller blocks, much like slicing a loaf of bread, but resulting in slices that may weigh as much as 25 tons. These blocks then travel to a building to be cut into thinner pieces called slabs that are then sent to the factory where they begin their creative transformation. 
Now that these big blank canvases have been extracted, our in-house artisans and award-winning designers start producing the finest handcrafted monuments in the world by using state-of-the-art technology and machinery right alongside human artistry, employing artisanal techniques handed down through the centuries. Colossal wire saws, contour saws, CNC machines, and hydraulic splitters are used to make straight, curved, or intricate angle cuts to create the appropriate size and shape needed. Then, some stones get polished by automated polishers that do the initial rough polishing. The final finish on the stones will be achieved by further polishing to obtain a very reflective glass-like sheen. Hand pitching is a technique used on some stones to achieve a natural look. Sandblasting is used in some instances to create smooth, matte finishes rather than the glassy finishes. Lettering, floral, and other designs are created through a process called sand carving. First, the desired design is printed on a rubber stencil which is temporarily adhered to the stone. Portions of the stencil are then cut away to expose portions of the underlying granite. Then, stone and stencil are placed in a metal booth where the open areas of the stencil will be sprayed with millions of small steel beads, creating three-dimensional designs, such as lifelike flowers. Many wonderful designs can be created by sand carving, but more intricate designs may require the work of a master hand sculptor. Some of the sculptors you may observe during the factory tour are second and third generation sculptors, perpetuating the ancestral art of stone carving. Their respective portfolios contain memorial masterpieces and statuary visited by millions of people from around the world. You can learn more about some of our artisans by watching the short videos displayed on the theater exposition wall. All of Rock of Ages creations are subjected to a quality check at every phase of manufacture, and it's only after this rigorous process that the stones are marked with our prestigious seal mark, signifying that we stand behind our stone and craftsmanship in perpetuity. During its long history, Rock of Ages has assembled some of the most talented artisans in the industry and has created thousands of astonishing memorials and statues. We credit our success today to the passion and enduring dedication of our people. Each member of our extended Rock of Ages family plays an important role in achieving our reputation as having the finest customer service, the most creative designers, the best craftsmanship, and the most comprehensive warranties in our industry today. We know our founding fathers would be proud of what we've achieved.